Hey Tigers, Catherine here with Residential Life and I'm so excited to visit with you today about all things room selection. We're going to go through the room selection process for our traditional housing options and show you how to get your new LSU home. Step one, roommates. We want to make sure you have your preferred roommate group all set before your selection time. So let's make sure you have up to four people in your roommate group and the person with the earliest room selection time slot is set as your group leader. Step two, get ready. Before you log in to select your room in the housing portal, you and your preferred roommates need to talk about what buildings you'd like to live in. Kind of get that mental list together so when you log into the portal to select your room, you know what you're looking for and you're not wasting time talking about this building or that building while other tigers are selecting those rooms. So get together with your preferred roommate or your preferred roommate group and talk about, do we want to live in Miller, Azalea, Herget, what are your top choices? So that way you won't waste time when you log into the portal. Step three, pick your room. It's time to find your LSU home. So you and your roommates have made that mental list. You know what you're looking for. So when we log in at our room selection time slot, you'll see all the building options on the left-hand side of the screen. So we know that uh, my roommate and I and our suite mates, our top choice is Azalea Hall. That's where we're gonna look first. So I click Azalea Hall and you'll see all the rooms populate that are available. So we wanna make sure, since this is a suite style building, that we're paying attention to the suite room numbers. So here you can see, I'm gonna select 1112, and that is suite A and suite B. I see there are four spaces available in this suite, and that's really important, because let's say I select a suite that only has three spaces available. Somebody's already selected that, one other space so now there's not going to be space for all four of us to get together somebody's going to be left out so make sure that you're looking at those available spaces before you select those suites so i'm just going to select the suite go to the next step and this is where i actually decide who is in which room so who's roommates and who are our suite mates so i'm going to go ahead and select bed um, bed number one for me on the a side and i'm going to assign my preferred roommate to bed b and then I'm going to pull in my suite mates on the other side of the suite and put them in beds as well. Now, you'll note the only people that show up as potential roommates and suite mates are those folks in your preferred roommate group. So those are the only people that you're going to be able to see here to pull into your room. So that's why having those roommate groups set up is so important because it impacts this step. So we're all placed in our suite and we're ready to make it official. So just click assign beds and that is your LSU home. So you can go to your My Details tab now and you'll be able to view your official room assignment, your roommate and suite mates. All right, let's go back to the beginning of step three. This might happen to some of you. We're logging into the portal to select our room in Azalea Hall, that's our top choice. But whoa, Tiger, Azalea Hall is full. There's no more space for all four of us to, to be. So now, we, since we have our mental list, we know that our second choice of building is Miller Hall. So now I'm gonna go and select Miller Hall the same way I did in the first example. And we're going to show you how to select two, two student rooms for your group of four to be close to one another since your first building was full. So let's go and select Miller Hall. You'll see all the rooms populate that are available. Again, you want to make sure that if you're looking at a two-person room, that there are two spaces available in that room. If there's only one space available, that means another tiger has selected that room um, and there's only one other bed that can be assigned. And since you want to stay with your roommate, we're going to look for a room that has two spaces available. So I see two rooms here that each have two spaces available. Uh, I looked at the floor map. They seem to be right across the hall from each other or maybe right next to each other. And that'll be good for me and my preferred roommate and then who I'd like to be my suite mates. But now they're just going to be my next door neighbors. Um, so we're going to select those rooms. We're going to add them to our cart. And then next we'll be assigning people to the actual rooms. So I know that I want <clears throat> my roommate and so we're going to select one room and then I'm going to put my former suite mates, now next door neighbors, into the room next to us. I'm going to click assign beds and it's official. Now, instead of being in a suite, uh, the four of us, we are in two, two student rooms next door to each other. So you have your room assignment and are looking forward to move in day. If you have any questions between now and then, be sure to email our team at housing at We're so excited to welcome you to campus and we cannot wait to see you at move in day. Go Tigers!